Welcome to another inspirational teaching from Tim Warden Communications. Our mission is to honor God and deliver all his benefits. I want to talk to you today about, not basketball, but bouncing back. Everybody say, bounce back. Yeah, so, you know, bounce back is a term na ginagamit pag, well, it means to recover quickly after a setback, illness, a, a, a deep blow, or kaya a defeat. It means to return to a good condition. And you know, one time, th- this was uh, sa YouTube, mayroon silang uh, guy who was on the treadmill exercising, and nag na- wipe out siya. Watch that video clip. It's really funny. Boom! And then, he recovered. Oh, see, one more time. So, uh, na-distract siya sa baba, eh? Boom! And wala lang. Okay lang. <laughs> so that's, that's a guy who bounced back. You know? <laughs> he recovered from that. Well, in the scriptures, Jesus talked about this uh, story of the Good Samaritan. You familiar kay Don? Where it says in uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 30, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell. Everybody say he fell. And he fell among thieves or among robbers and they stripped him, beat him, and left him half dead beside the road. So this was a man uh, doing a normal trip. Niya, siguro na kukumute siya, going to Jericho from, from Jerusalem. It was a sad story, pero naging happy yung ending. Because God sent a good Samaritan. God sent a man to help him back up. He was beaten, he was down, he fell. But God made a way na merong talagang nag-rescue sa kanya. Merong nag-treat ng kanyang wounds. Uh, uh, pinasakay niya sa kanyang kabayo. He brought him to a hotel. Siya pa nagbayad ng lahat ng expenses. So, the bad story, the bad trip, naging good ang ending. Sino sa inyo naranasan ng bad trip? No, I mean, a really bad trip. Something happened sa iyo na nag-down ka. Siguro you fell on to hard times or you fell into unfair treatment, setback, disappointment, an unexpected defeat, loss, suffer, drama, trauma. Nawala ka ng bag mo, and then you, naranasan ko yan sa Manila, ninakawan ako ng 90K. How many of you have ever, you know, na-discrasya ka, namatayan ka, something really Tragic happened to you. Or maybe mismo ang kasalanan mo. Nagkamali ka sa stock choices. <laughs> or pumalpak ang negosyo mo. Or you just, you, you, nakabuntis ka na hindi mo asawa. You know, all kinds of disasters happen in our life. But listen to me carefully. God's plan is for you to always recover. To always bounce back up. To find the way. God, in the midst of every fall, if ever God allowed a failure, a fall sa buhay mo, built in to that fall is a way out, a way up, a way around. That you would get over, get through, get ahead to finish the race, to finish strong, to come out on the top and not underneath. Even sa temptation, sa tukso, sabi sa First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, it says that even sa temptation in your life, they're no different from what others experience, but God is faithful. And it says, He will not allow you to be tempted more than you can stand. Right? And it says, when you are tempted, He will show you, what is it? Read this with me. He will show you a way out so that you can endure it. Now, merong common saying, pagkasabi, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But in bounceology, ibang technology, the harder they fall, the higher they bounce. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bounce back. I want you to you know, simply aware na aware tayo sa mismong specific falls natin. 
But I want you to imagine yourself as if you were a ball. And someone, maybe something or someone cast you down, bumagsak ka, nahulog ka, abused, you know, abandoned, rejected, whatever. Imagine yourself bouncing back, coming back up with, you know, kung anong intensity na pag down ka, ganun din ang pagsigla ng mag bounce back. Imagine yung tennis ball. Merong clip dito na super slow motion yung tennis ball. Somebody say, ouch! Yun. But then, nag-bounce back siya. Okay? Once again, the tennis ball is falling. Something went disappointed, discouragement, failure. But, boom! He comes back. And that's how God wants you to live life. Maybe you started weak, Poor, failure, mo, but in the end, God wants you to live a champion life. And yun ang vision ng ating uh, samahan, San Fernando Christian Community, is producing champions in life. And God has a plan. Nagagamitin niya, even yung failures mo, even yung fall, gagamitin niya to your advantage. Madapa kaman. You know, sometimes when you're running and then not the pa, basta fail forward, not backwards. Alam mo, pag not pa ka, minsan, uh, ang bilis ng pag-advance mo. Masakit man. But when you get back up, you're advanced than where you were before. And ang plano ng Diyos is whatever falls na nararanasan natin when we get back up, we are actually going to be in a higher level than we were before. Wiser, you know, a little bit more uh, careful, a little bit more uh, aware. It's about what failures, there are seeds you can pick up, right? replant into the lives of others. What maybe you thought was a setback sa buhay mo actually is a setup. A setup that God will bring you to another level. So in ating, sa ating process of, of bouncing back, the first phase is the fall. The fall. We all fall sometimes. But at the end of it all, we don't have to stay down, di ba? Ang buhay natin is full of highs and lows. Wala namang, hindi, walang hindi reality na they lived happily ever after and never argued again. Sino sa inyo mag na never argued again? I don't think you could do that, no? You know, uh, even sa business and graves, you know, every, our emotions, it's, it's always up and down. Right? But listen, the devil wants you to think that the fall for you is permanent. He wants you to think, yan ang destiny mo, down. You're not a basketball, you're a bowling ball. He wants you to think that, you know, you can never rise up again. You can never get ahead. Ang gusto ng devil, he wants you to feel that your identity is already um, uh, sarado na. Ganyan ka. Victim ka. Broken family kayo. Failure ka. He wants na aakuin mo at i-embrace mo yung negative na identity. But the difference between a fall and a failure is yung response Kung how you react. Pwede naman kang bumalik. Pwede kang bumangon. Tingnan mo si, ano, si Peter and si Judas. Halos parehas ang kasalanan nila. Nung gabi na namatay si Jesus, both of them somehow betrayed and denied Jesus. The difference was, Peter bounced back. Si Judas, nakinig kay Satan. Sabi niya, kanyan ka. Hindi ka tunay na disiplo. Mapakunyari ka pa. Just kill yourself. It's over. You know, actually, nagsisi, somehow nagsisisi din si Judas. Sinuli pa yung pera. But he didn't bounce back. He could, what if, what if Judas bounced back? He could. He could have the same. So don't make failure or falling your permanent residence. If you fail, if you fall, if you have a setback, no, financial down, maybe namatayan ka, that you have a loved one that 
hanggang ngayon, may sakit pa. Never, re- not recovering. Maybe naranasan ka ng broken family or you were rejected, abandoned, abused. Someone lied to you, lied about you, chinismis ka. Bagsak sa grades, sa relationships, love life. You know, maybe business went down. Don't give up hope. I want to put hope in you. I want to in or put courage in you. That God has a plan to give you a bounce back. A bounce higher. Now, possibly, yung, yung fall mo was just small. You know, maybe you were just a little disappointed. Yung, yung akala mo hindi natupad. So you bounce. You fall a little, you bounce a little. Or maybe your fall is medium. You know, a little bit more disappointment. Somebody hurt your feelings. So, ganun din ang bounce na makukuha mo. Medium din. But I want to talk today sa inyo kung sino dito ay naranasan ng kakaibang klaseng bounce, fall. Maybe you were devastated. Maybe your spouse walked out on you. Someone stole or cheated you. And you experienced a really hard fall. Nakakaiba. Ouch. But look how high is the bounce. Inuulit ko, the, the harder you fall, the higher God will grace you to bounce. Does that make sense? So be more, I can bounce back. In life, the devil will throw you down, but you can come back up again. Proverbs chapter, um, Proverbs chapter 24 Verse 16. Look at this. This is interesting. Maikli lang, pero it says, A righteous man falls seven times, but rises again. Tingnan mo. Leave it there for, for a minute. This is talking about a guy that falls. I don't know kung anong classing fall. Maybe nahulog sa kasalanan. You know, maybe he failed. Maybe he failed the Lord, he wasn't committed or whatever. Maybe he failed his wife, his family. Basta he falls. Paulit, ulit. Ang daming palpak. Ang, leave the scripture up there just for a minute. Ang daming palpak this guy. Seven times. And how does the Bible describe him? What kind of man is he? It does not say an evil man falls seven. It said a righteous man. Falls. He's called righteous. Seven times, but he gets back up. Let me tell you what righteousness means. In the new covenant of God, righteous does not mean right doing, perfect in your actions. Righteous means a right standing. Your legal, technically your legal status before God is righteous. Katanggap tanggap sa Dios. And it's not based on your performance. It's based on Jesus' performance. And though you fall seven times, you have bounce back power built into you. Kasi, pag tinanggap natin si Jesus, Jesus Christ is the ultimate bouncer. Siya yung talagang pinaka example ng bounce backer. And pag tinanggap natin si Jesus, and you, you bring him into your life, Ipakakaloob niya sa'yo ng DNA, spiritual DNA that has bounce back power. We were created to live in victory, not defeated losers. Bakit? Eh, there's a champion inside of you. Kung nakipag-isa ka kay Kristo, si isang bagong nila lang, hindi ka lang tao. Kaya huwag mo sabihin, tao lang naman ako eh, wala akong magagawa. No, hindi ka na tao lang. Tinanggap mo, ang King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You got a new DNA, spiritually speaking, and that means there's a champion living inside of you, and he fights and wins against sickness, depression, he solves problems, he pulls you out of bondage to addictions, habits. Psalms chapter 118, verse 17 says, I will not die. Instead, I will live and tell what the Lord has done for me. 
Alam mo, in our in our family dito sa San Fernando Christian Community, ang daming mga testimonies of people just like you who bounce back from hard times, bounce back from disappointments. Si Nanay Polly, one, I don't know if she's still here, but kanina first service, si Polly, she's a small old woman, very, very sweet old woman. A few years ago, she lost, first of all, namatay yung anak niya. And it was very, very sad, very bitter, very tragic, yung way kung paano namatay yung anak niya. Then, namat, ay, namatay yung kapatid niya. Namatay yung asawa niya. Nawat, namatay din yung isang uh, asawa ng anak niya. Alam mo, an, pa, pa ulit ulit I mean, sunod-sunod ang mga funeral. As if, pwede ka mag bayad sa Josie's na monthly. <laughs> Parang grabe ang dami na matay sa kanya and of course she's she, wala naman siyang ibang uh, nagsusuport sa kanya. So she was down, very down. But you see Polly today, hindi siya na hindi siya nag-give up. Hindi siya nabigo. Nakatayo pa rin siya, praising the Lord, serving the Lord, trusting God. One of our members si Rose Ann you know, she had a boyfriend all through college, you know, a very solid yung relationship. Siguro ang dream niya, ang expectation niya is pag graduate sa college after some time, sila na, mag asawa na sila, have a family, raise children, lahat. Nag, nag-break up. Nag-break up yung matagal na relationship na akala niya solid. Biglang, pak, wala na. And then, can you imagine, ang mga babae, na imagine mo na kung gaano ka sakit, na your dreams, your hopes were cut. And then makikita mo pa yung ex dyan sa church, kasama kayo. No? How could you focus on worshiping God na dyan siya? Di ba? Ah, may kasamang babae pa. Eh, paano, anong feeling, di ba, babae? And so, can you just imagine the emotional throw down. Pero hindi siya, nag, hindi siya na natiling bitter sa manglaob. Uh, uh, she just rose up because her name is Rose Ann. So she rose up. <laughs> rose up. Rose Ann, rose up. Ganda, prophetic pa ang pangalan eh. She rose up out of that. Didn't stay hurt. Hindi siya naging, uh, you know, she didn't Tanim ng samang loob. She was still matured and, and very kind and forgiving. And you know what? Today she's serving God. She's uh, doing going on missions and she's teaching children, youth, leading cell groups, bringing people to Christ. Even her family. She influenced her family, even her father, to receive Christ. So there's a fall, but there is a bounce back. The second process or the second stage is the impact. That's the impact. Sounds like wapak. <laughs> impact wapak. Because after the fall, there comes impact. Na kung saan you hit the rock bottom, contact is made. Masakit yun. It's like the tennis ball na natamaan yung racket. Tingnan mo yung super slow motion na tennis ball naman. Wapak. Watch it in very slow motion. If Imagine you're that tennis ball, right? And you get hit with a discouragement. You get hit with the bad news, the emotional um, huapak. And your faith gets deformed. Your self-esteem gets flat. Your hopes and dreams are hurt. But God gives you grace to bounce back. See that? You don't have to stay flat. You don't have to stay defeated and deformed. Yes, we get bent out of shape. Yes, merong pagsubok, merong, you know, our faith is tested. Yung, yung endurance natin na, na, na affected. But you either absorb the impact or explode on the impact. But you got, if you want to have recovery, you've got to survive the impact. And ako'y nagsasabi sa inyo ngayon, God has put something in you, inside of you, to enable you to absorb the impact. 
Now, sa, sa theological terms, we call that sustaining grace. Diba? It's a kind of grace. It's a kind of undeserved assistance or favor of God that allows you to, to absorb, to shock. His shock absorbs that hard time. You, you, you will not... You, like nung kami din, namatay kami, 1999, 1998, sunod-sunod ang namatay sa family namin. I lost two brothers and my favorite cousin. Taon-taon. Halos on the same month, year after year. And yung unang kong kapatid namatay dito sa Bawang, he was just visiting here. I had to call my parents and give them the bad news. Your oldest son is dead. And you know, my parents went through a fall, emotionally, everything. So you know what? People ask them, how did you survive? How did you manage? Tapos after a year, in bunso, namatay na naman, accident. Skydiver siya, namatay. Can you just imagine, how did they survive? People say, how did you do it? Bakit hindi ka nag-break down emotionally? They said, you know, it's just God's grace. We hold on to our faith. Eh, ganun. Yan ang sustaining grace. Sinusupplyan tayo ng Diyos ng grace for every mat- a corresponding grace for what you need to survive that impact. But you gotta find grace. Kumapit sa Diyos. Diba kanina inawit natin na ang uh, pangako ng Diyos, yan ang pangahawakan ko. You gotta hold on to God's promise. God's not a liar. He won't set you up for, for failure to make a fool of you. Those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. His word is true. His promises are very reliable. Pero dito sa impact, when you fall, that's the time where the devil tells you to quit. This is where many people give up. Na pahiya, na discourage, gumugulo na yung mga mind monsters, yung mga negative thinking, doon nagkikwit ng marami. Satan will tell you, hindi ka naman tunay na Kristiyano. Give up ka na lang. Pakunyari ka pa. But yeah, I tell you, if you need to cry, you cry. It's healthy. If you need a shoulder to lean on, lumapit ka sa Christian friends, Christian leaders. Don't disconnect yourself. Huwag kang umiwas sa church, sa worship. Many times, pag may mga impact, pag may mga fault, that's the time people say, hindi akong pwede mag-church. Yako karapat dapat. Ayusin ko muna yung buhay ko bago ako magsimba. Many times people do the opposite na dapat. The more that you have fallen, the more nangangailangan ka ng grace. Especially on your worst day. That's not the time to avoid God. God loves you on your worst day. And His grace is always stronger than your worst sin. Kung gano ka gulo ng buhay mo, kung gano kapalpak ang mga decisions mo, kung gano ka ugly ng kasalanan mo, hindi nagbabago ang acceptance and love ni God. So you don't have to avoid Him. The more, ang nice ng Diyos is gamitin mo, sulitin mo ang kanyang provision of grace. Tuwang-tuwa ng Diyos when we're messed up that we come back to Him. Tuwang-tuwa siya doon kasi it shows that yung kanyang plano to save you is working. <laughs> Parang nagiging natap, napapatunayan na ang kanyang plan to be your savior is may effect. It's really working. It's happening. Tuwang-tuwa ng Diyos. He loves washing away your sins. That fulfills Him. Hello? Hindi pilit. When God saves you and cleans you and washes away your sins, when God fixes your life, repairs your relationships. As if nagsasabi natin sa kanya, Lord, thank you. Grabe. Sintya ka, Lord. Salamat sa pagtsatsaga mo sa akin. And I could just hear the Lord saying, the pleasure is all mine. I love doing it. That's who I am. Ako isang tagapagligtas. Ako isang redeemer. Ganyan ako. It's not a burden for me. It's the fulfillment of my mission. Kaya wag nating umiwas sa Diyos. But just keep showing up. KSU. Keep showing up. Minsan yung, yung survivor, yung champion is not the one that started so glamorous. 
He's just the one that kept showing up. And that's the way you finish strong. Galatians 6 verse 9 says, Let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Revelations 2.10, Jesus said, The devil will throw some of you down to test you, but if you remain faithful, crown of life. Psalms chapter 30 verse 5 says this, Weeping, Okay, or pwedeng sabihin na crying, you know, uh, uh, discouragements, failures, yung pagdadaon. It may remain for a night. It may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Sino sa inyo naniniwala na ang mercies ng Diyos ay panibago araw-araw? Great takila ang kanyang katapatan. He doesn't get tired of blessing you. And though there may be a time when you go down, that's weeping for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So you have a fall, number one, you have two, you have the impact, but number three is the best part. Napaka powerful ito, the bounce back. The bounce back. And it reminds me doon sa mga punong palm tree. Alam mo, dito sa Pilipinas, marami tayong puno, may manga, may acacia, uh, pine trees, sabagi, iba-ibang uri. And tuwing may bagyo, you could always see after the storm, kalat-kalat mga trees that nahulog sa daan. Minsan, you cannot even go down to Manila because there's trees, big trees, strong trees, glorious trees. Nakala mo, that was 150 years old acacia. And because of a strong storm, bumagsak siya. He, 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 he broke, he fell. Big branches. But there's something different about the palm tree. I think uh, kapamilya ang palm tree sa mga dito sa mga nyog. Looks like that. How many of you saw a tree like that? No? In, in the strong storms, yung lalo na sa tabing dagat, those palm trees could bend almost all the way over. Depende sa kung ganong katindi, ganong kalakas ng bagyo. Strong waves. Grabe ang effect sa mga yan. Pero as if yung palm tree na yan ay nagsasabi, Sige, sige, sige pa, sige pa, kaya ko pa ito, kaya sige. Give me all you got. Signal number one, signal three, sige pa. And then after the storm, sabi mo palm tree, he <laughs> it's my turn now. And he bounces back. He comes back. That's the, that's the resilience of a palm tree. And you know what? In Psalms 92 verse 12, the Bible said the righteous will thrive, will flourish like a palm tree. Ang tawag ng Diyos sa iyo, sa atin, is like a, hindi akasha, hindi katula ng manga. Why not the righteous will be like manga? No, it says the righteous will be like a palm tree. Bakit? Kasi alam ng Diyos, you will go through downs. You will fall. Alam ng Diyos, you will go through marriage problems, financial problems, emotional roller coaster. Alam ng Diyos that you will need kung anong resilience na meron sa palm tree. Sabi you're like a palm tree. Sino sa inyo kailangan ng ganun klaseng resilience? Yung pagtsatsaga that you will bend but you will not break. You will survive the impact. Not get bitter not get angry, not stay hurt or self-pity. Hindi ka magiging isang jealous person. You will learn to forgive. In the midst of yung fall mo, in the midst ng yung impact with different discouragements or failures sa buhay, there's this magic moment. Ewan ko, para kung sa super slow motion makikita mo yan, na yung ball or yung yung nalaglag, nahulog, alam mo yung, yung, yung tennis ball, when it hit that racket, nakita mo kanina, na-deform siya. So it was going very slow motion. You know? And then, boom, may impact. And then, after impact, tuloy-tuloy na yung pag-deform niya. Na-flatan, pa-flatan, pa-flatan. And then, yung, nag-deform yung shape ng bola. And siguro, that's the, that's the point na talagang his life was really tested. There's pressure built up. 
But if you could just see it, napaka well, vi- invisible sa mata ng tao. But there's a point when even milli milliseconds lang, it stops. That that force that impacts stops. That flow of power that's pushing it stops just for a moment. And the ball has something on the inside. A, 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 a kind of force, a kind of energy. Dun sa loob niya. As if nagsasabi niya, enough is enough. Hanggang dito lang ang damay sa akin. It's my turn now. And it starts to push back. In a pressure na built up, he starts to say, I'm gonna get my tunay na shape again. And he starts to push back. And that ball rebounds with great sigla, intensity. Nagkakaroon ulit ng kanyang shape, ng yung tunay na identity niya na nabubuo na naman. And that's that sudden energy from inside na kung saan it's greater than the force of the outside. And I believe sa buhay natin, when things are happening to you, when you're experiencing different kinds of failures or discouragement, God has put a seed of bounce back power in you. It's, it's, it's just a seed of faith. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a measure of His grace that will give you that ability, His ability in you to push back, to come out, to get over it. Yes, you were hurt, but you can forgive. Yes, you were cheated, but you can return evil with good. You know, yes, you were offended, but you can choose not to take the offense. Yes, you failed. You were, you were, you were, you, you went into all kinds of sin, addiction, but, but you can choose to receive the grace of God. Not based on your own works, but based on His love. The enemy wants you when you fall, na jan kalang, wakam bumangon, lose your identity, lose your hope. But you know, James chapter four verse seven says, when we submit to God, it says, resist the devil. Imagine yung bola kanina, yung bola. Eventually, he resisted the the pressure, the ng rackets. I mean, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He will go away. Second Corinthians. Look at this. Second Corinthians chapter four verse eight. So, I mean, yeah, we are pressured in every way but not crushed we are frustrated but not in despair we are persecuted but never abandoned by God and we get knocked down but we are not destroyed bucket first John 4 4 greater is he the one who's inside you than he who's in the world so my friends go if you go through hell if you are bent out of shape God still knows how to raise you up. Psalms 3.3, it says, You, O Lord, you are a shield around me. You are my glory and the one who lifts my head. Exodus 14.14, Ang pangako ng Diyos, I will be the one fighting for you. Just stay calm. Oh, sabihin mo, stay calm and bounce back. Yan. Maaring... Sino nakaka-relate? Yung sinasabi ko ba ngayon is nakaka-relate kayo? So, sino sa inyo na, naranasan mo ng impact? Maybe in your family, you had an impact. You know, sa tahanan nyo, it's just like a war zone. Or maybe you're not talking to each other. Or maybe in, in some ways, you're in financial crisis. As if you were stricken down, don't know where to go, don't know where, how to get money. Meron akong kausap kanina, sabi niya, kahapon, inisip ko mag-hold up na lang ako. Kasi, gipit siya. And i- i- talagang inisip niya na mag-hold up. Buti na lang, merong Christian na nag-invite sa kanya. And you know, there are uh, all kinds of impacts na either kasalanan ng iba, tayo na damay, o kasalanan natin. When you feel down, Discouraged, trust the Lord. 
get hope in Him. Put your confidence hindi sa sarili mong abilidad na ayusin ang buhay. Hindi mo kaya ayusin ang sarili mong buhay. Natry mo na yan eh. Doesn't work, di ba? Natry na na natin yan ilang beses. If we could do that, we should have already done it noon pa. If we could fix our life and make our happiness be for sure, if we could make our lives be, you know, um, financially secured, what they call that, stable, emotionally, if we could do something or buy something to ensure that our life will be good, we should have done that already. It doesn't work. Kasi hindi mo kayang iligtas ang sarili mo. Hindi mo kayang ayusin ang sarili mong gulo ng buhay mo. It has to come from the Lord. And yun ang design ng Diyos. He doesn't want us na mamuhay independent sa Kanya. He wants to be involved, connected, related. He doesn't need you to be religious and have a, a religion. He wants, he wants a family. He wants friends. He, he's after a relationship. So kung ikaw ang na, na impact, na fall, you just say, hey, I'm tired of living this way. Sawang sawa na ako. I want to come back to the heart of worship. I want to come back to the first love of my life. I want to respond dun sa una nagmahal sa akin. And you start saying, you know, hindi, hindi na ako iiwas sa Diyos. I'm going to not avoid Him. I'm going to come near to Him. And you dare to believe that He will accept you as is where is. You dare to trust His Word. And don't think, ay, galit siya sa akin. Dami kong kasalanan, no? Walang balak ng Diyos na gumanti sa'yo. Wala kang pending na kaso sa court of heaven. It's been paid for. So when Jesus is finished, you can draw near. The Bible says, come near with confidence, boldly to the throne of grace where you receive mercy and find the grace to help anytime you need. So we come. That's why we have Encounter God Retreat. Talagang, talagang, so that you can really get to encounter God and His love. We have a cell group every week. You can go to cell group. You can hear the Word of God. Pray. People will pray for you. You will pray for others. Every Sunday, meron tayong all you can eat, all you can buffet of spiritual food. Kaya people come early and stay late para sulit. You know, the fellowship, the worship, and... Masarap, di ba? Masarap. Magaan. Bring your friends, and the more you will enjoy pag may kasama. Parang, you know, and then we serve. You know, you don't have to serve God because He needs you to serve. We serve because we're so hungry for more. You know, and the more we give, the more we start getting full. Sa totoo lang, God doesn't need you to love Him. He already is full of love. God is love. But He wants you to love Him because if you love Him and obey Him and serve Him, He will not love you more. But you will love Him more. Does that make sense? All right. I tell you what, the reason we bounce back is because we had fallen. Kung nahulog ka and your life was messed up, hindi ka nag We all experience that. But I, I, I love the story nung far, yung farmers, he had this dog na mat lang, askal. And then that dog fell doon sa deep well na matagal na dried up na deep well yan. So walang silbi yung deep well. In fact, the farmer was planning to tambakan din yung, yung butas, yung hukay. So when the dog fell in, wala naman siyang way to get the dog out. Sabi niya, wala na. Mamamatay talaga tong aso nito. I might as well bury the dog. At the same time, double purpose, matambakan din yung, yung, yung uh, deep well. So he started throwing the dirt doon sa deep well. Siyempre, yung shovel ng dirt, natamaan yung aso doon sa tambak. Sabi ng aso, ano ba yan? So he shook it off. He bounced it off of his head, off of his back, ganun. Mamaya, mamaya, merong another. Push. Big load of dirt. Shovel and shovel. Lahat ng tambak started going on the dog. Every time na tamaan yung dog dun sa laking ng tambak na dirt, he would just bounce it off, shake it off, dry it off. Then, 
Habang tumatagal, inaapakan din. Yung kung ano yung nah- nahulog sa kanya, inaapakan. Then paunti-unti, pataas na pataas yung level ng kanyang ng kanyang katayuan and eventually he just walked out <laughs> he just you know na naangat siya he just walked away naligtas din and the point there was that the the dirt that was thrown to him thrown down on him that was intended to bury him benefited him and he used that to get him out and you know, that's what God will do sa atin. He will give us victory sa kalagitnaan ng mga difficulties. Romans chapter 8, verse 37 says, The one who loves us always gives us overwhelming victory in all these difficulties. Do you know the story of Joseph, yung favorite son ni Israel? Uh, he was a dreamer. Mayroon siya mga dreams na I will be a world leader. Even my family will bow to me and you know, I'm gonna do great things. So, yung dreams na yan, nung sinasabi niya yung mga dreams niya sa papa at sa mga kapatid niya, nagalit sila sa kanya. Kasi parang yabang. He was really the favorite, but his brothers were so jealous of him. They, they grabbed him and almost killed him. They threw him down to a pit. They threw him as a slavery, into slavery. So, threw, he would, the slaves brought him to Egypt and threw him into captivity he was trying to do good they threw him into jail he was down in the lowest part na kanyang buhay and 20 years later nakaroon ng dream yung pharaoh yung hari ng egypt and joseph started to regain his identity his purpose in life nakita niya yung dream nakita niya ang sarili niya bilang asset bilang you know, tagapag-feed ng nations. He saw himself as a leader, as an advisor. He saw himself rising up. And totoo naman, the thing that got him in trouble in the first place, eventually got him to a higher level. The harder you fall, the higher you will bounce back. Do you understand? And even Job, natandaan niyo ba si yung story ni Job? He was one of the guys na medyo mayaman din siya, mayaman siya. He was righteous. Nangyari sa kanya, a lot of back-to-back tragedies. Lahat ng inaari niya, na, na wash out, na sira. His family was killed. All of his children died. He got sick ng grabbing boils, very painful sickness all over his body. But the Bible goes on to say that despite all of those, nagtatapat si Job sa Diyos. And just like in Genesis 50, sabi ng ni Joseph, what you meant for evil to harm me, God used it to bring me to this position so I could save people. Ganon din si Job. Sabi ng Biblia na, the Lord blessed Job twice as much as before. Nung nakaraon siya ng healing and recovery. Nag-bounce back din si Job. And the Bible says that he was more wealthy times two than before. Now, I remember sa 1999, ako'y dumaan din ako sa bangklaseng pagsubok. I was working here, uh, ang church ng San Fernando Christian Community that time was siguro mga 40, 40, 45 members. Something very, very small. And I was, without so much detail, I was like crucified by my own, you know, trusted backers and friends, people that I was the victim of a political, you know, internal, some other parties lied about me, and then naniwala. Have you ever been treated unfairly? Has anyone ever lied about you and it wasn't true and nadamay ng reputation mo? This is what happened to me. My, my reputation back home in my place uh, sa US was mud. I was the trash because, and it was, I was, wala naman kung ginagawang masamay. I was doing with all my good intentions. But I was um, basically lied about and recalled the, the church that I 
loved so much, the, the people that I respected so much brought me through a really terrible season of hell and accusations. They stripped away all of my finances, all of my reputation, wrote letters about me. And all of this, this was really, talagang this was the worst, one of the worst na karanasan ko sa buong buhay ko. And all the while, ang heart ko was just to do good, just to help. And on top of that, that was when my younger brother was killed in a plane crash. So, and dami, back to back ng mga, have you ever felt like your world is just crashing down? Yan ang nangyari sa akin at that time. And the devil wanted me to just give up and quit. You know, don't be a missionary, don't pastor a church, don't go, because they told me you cannot go back to the Philippines. We will not let you, uh, sabi ko, I have to go back. It's God's calling, it's God's will for me. You will not have any of our support, no money, no blessing, nothing. But you know what? I made a choice. Number one, to obey God. And number two, to not be bitter or hurt by what man can do to me. And that's the hardest lesson for you not, hindi ka magtatanim ng samang loob. Hindi ka mag, you know, you learn to forgive. Sa totoo lang, we should become experts at forgiving because God forgave us so much. And if you want to be an expert at forgiving, you need more practice. And you cannot practice unless someone hurts you. <laughs> okay, so it's dun. But I tell you what, here's the point. If you fall, and by the grace of God, I was able to bounce back. And you know, the finances are 10 times more than before. The, the thrive, I was single, now I have a great wife, I have a child. You know, all, I could tell you so many blessings that came out from that tragedy. Yung nangyari sa akin, ginabit ng Diyos yan to my advantage. Habang kwento, but God blessed me lots more than, and that for me now is my testimony. Pinakamagandang nangyari sa buhay ko, yun yun. That was the turning point. That was the bounce back sa akin. Pero ito ang kagandahan. Ito yung higit pa. Hindi lang ako na kinabang. The bounce back na nangyari kay Tim Warden, marami rin ibang tao na nakinabang. A lot of other people were affected. From 40, 45 people, now 600 to 700 people. Are, you know, it's not, like, it's not like na when you bounce back, ikaw lang ang mabibenefit. No. There are seeds in your fall that when you pwede mong pulutin yung seed na yan and that will be replanted in the lives of others and maraming iba, ibang tao that will go with you. So when you fall, fall hard, just remember Romans 8, 28. God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love Him. And you know what? God can give us, you know, um, the bounce back DNA. It's from Jesus Christ. Kasi siya pa ang pinaka example. Do you remember in um, an, an pattern? This is a pattern that Jesus uh, established for us. Death, burial, resurrection. Tandaan mo yan. Kasi yan yung basic skeletal structure ng gospel of Christ. DBR, death, burial, resurrection. Kikita mo yung bounce jan? There's a bounce there. Death, burial, it's a grave, boog, resurrection. That's the ultimate bounce, the pattern of bounce. It's fall, it's impact, and it's bounce back. Do you see that? Jesus took the fall. Diba may awit na? You took the fall and thought of me. Have you heard that? Jesus took the fall. Inaku niya ang ating napakapangit na identity. Sinner, rebellious, transgressor. He took our sin. Inaku niya ang ating shame and sickness and hurts and failures and rejection. He was killed 
to pay the punishment for our sin. He was paying off our debts. And he took it. And he took it to the grave. But he knew who he was. Down there in the grave, sa pinaka lowest place na kung saan bumagsak si Jesus, to the pits of the grave, to the pits of hell, doon. Sabi niya, there's enough is enough hanggang dito lang. It's my turn now. <laughs> and Jesus bounced back from hell, grabbed the keys of death and Hades and took them away so that no one could lock him in the grave. And he took others with him. Yung mga captives noon. The Bible says, nung resurrected si Jesus, may mga dating patay na naglalakad lang sa city. Natatambay lang yung mga, hindi naman zombie. They were really resurrected. But Jesus was the first one. He's the first one who was born again. And people follow him. We follow him. Nakiki ride on tayo sa kanyang resurrection. Sa kanyang bounce back. And that's how we get saved. Not through religion or good works. Not through fixing our lives or trying harder. Not to be a good person. The way that you get saved is you ride on with Jesus' resurrection. Namatay siya para sa'yo, pero higit doon, namatay siya bilang ikaw. Nailibing siya as you. He rose from the dead as you. You put your faith in that at Nakikipag-isa ka kay Kristo. When He rise from the dead, you rise. And it says in Micah chapter 7, verse 8, ito yung prophecy, as if si Jesus nagsasalita. Sabi niya, don't laugh at me, my enemies. Sinong enemy natin? Si Satan. Don't laugh at me, because although I've fallen, I will get up. Although I sit in the dark, the Lord will be my light. In Philippians 2, verse 9, it says that, because of what Jesus did, God elevated him. Imagine, anong purpose ng elevator? To bring you to a higher floor, higher level. And God elevated Jesus to the place of highest honor and gave him the name that is above all other names. My friends, lahat tayo balang araw, we will fall to the grave. We will die physically. All of us, some sooner than others. Okay, don't die this week, hopefully. Para makita kita tayo ulit next week. But all of us will die. Tama po ba? Don't be afraid of that. Because there's bounce back DNA inside of you. We, 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 we fall physically, but we don't stay down. You bounce right back up into heaven. You d- bounce right back. May pagkasabi na, ay, baka hindi, hindi ko sure kung, mali, kung maliligtas ako, hindi. Why not? Why not before you leave here today? Why not make it sure? Kung hindi ka sure, make it sure. It's not very complicated. Since ka kung masyadong, ano, kung masyadong technical yung mga preaching ko, but it's really, the, the basic message of Jesus is not complicated. You can be sure. Because Jesus said, uh, well, John, John, John said it like this. He said, all of those who put their trust in Jesus, kung sino man na naniwala sa kanya, sa kanila na ibigay ng karapatan na maging anak ng Diyos. If you believed in Him, you will not perish. You will not stay down. You will bounce back. Makaroon ng eternal life. And Psalms 37 verse 24 says, if they fall, they will not stay down. Because the Lord will you know, save them, help them up. Ganun siya. Tagapagliktas. And friends, ako, I, I'm committed to start my bounce back right now. I don't know sa'yo, hindi mo kailangan you wait until you're retired sa kanal ka mag-bounce for the Lord. Pwede tayo magsimula ngayon. Ako, I'm already 40 years old. And I don't want to waste another day. I'm going to spend the rest of my days until my dying breath to honor God at ipamahagi ang kanyang mga biyaya. I'm going to deliver His benefits. And we are in a very good season right now. You know, about two, three weeks ago, 
Kasi for the past two years, uh, some of you know, and lalo na dun sa mga nakaupo sa overflow hall, pasensya kayo. Kung, pero I think comfortable kayo ngayon, hindi ganun kainit. But because of the, uh, you know, the growth of the church, we had to rent the other building over here. Dito sa sa next neighbor and there's a second floor open and we've been renting that more than two years now but a couple of weeks ago even though yung mayari many times we want to buy that they, they said no we don't we're not selling but a couple of weeks ago ibininta on the spot just like that may nag sa kanila na a very large amount too good to say no so tinanggap nila ibininta the new owners that was Saturday. Sinabi na, starting tomorrow, hindi na kayo pwedeng umupa dito. Imagine that. Wala nang two weeks notice. Wala nang time to prepare. Nothing. So, kinubukasan na. Less than 24 hours, kick out na kami doon. That was somehow, kasi doon ang uh, worship service ng mga kabataan. That's where we call that J247. And that's where all the youth have their service every Sunday. So, paano na ngayon? A eh, puno na yung overflow hall. So where will they meet? Under the heat of the sun. Eh, paano? Palapit na palapit ng tag-ulan. And you know what? It was a fall. I was discouraged. I felt disappointed. In the first place, I wanted to buy that place. But then, of course, not for that price. And then now, wala na. But you know what? In every tragedy, in everything bad that happens, God's plans are still good. Not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. So we started seeking the Lord. Lord, pano? Ano what? What next? And then the Lord gave us a vision, a green light to start building. You know, we have plans. Some of you know that. We have plans to build a 1,500 seat champion center at the back to serve the community for everything. 1,500 seat. But that will take a lot of money. Okay? So God has the money, but it's not here yet. Wala pa dito. But if it's here, I'm going to... Sp- but before that, we will already start building a 500-seat sports complex. Right back here. And so I was, I was so thankful to the Lord na nangyari yun. Because if that did not happen, we will not have the urgency to go. We might not even have the courage or the guts to start building a sports complex with full court and, you know, covered and everything. And, and, and yet, because that happened, na inspired na. And the church is starting to get very excited about it. And it will be a beautiful place, a great place for the youth. Eventually, we will, pag, pag, medyo, kasi by face yun eh, cover muna. But eventually, that will be where we will meet in the interim until while the other one is being built. So you know, God has everything under control. Fear not. When you go down, there's bounce inside of you. There's a bounce inside you. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes right now. I want you to think about Maybe a fall that you have experienced. Some fall lately made you feel so, you know, so down emotionally. Maring may fear, may kaba. Hindi mo sure kung anong magiging result. Hindi mo alam kung anong future. Could be napaka-sensitive. Relationships are involved big finances are on the line. You don't know if you could survive, if you can make it. But I tell you right now, because of what Jesus did for you, He established a pattern of death, burial, and resurrection. So you go down. But God will not leave you down. He says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And maybe you think that God loves the whole world, but He doesn't love you. 
No, He loves you. Maaring sasabi mo, but I have not been holding on to God. I have not been praying. I have not been reading the Bible. I have not been attending church. It, that doesn't matter. Maski binitawan mo siya, He doesn't let go of you. Na minsan, naglalakad kami ng anak ko. He's not holding my hand. Pag nadapa siya, doesn't matter because I'm still holding his hand. Even if you're not faithful to God, he's still faithful to you. Even if you haven't served God, he's served your greatest needs. Even if you didn't give to him or love him, for God so loved you that he gave to you. Do you understand? Right now, I want you to realize that you are like that ball that's bouncing back. Because of God's grace na ipinakaloob niya sa situation mo. You receive that grace right now through Jesus. At kung hindi ka pa nakatanggap kay Jesus, it's not so complicated. Sabihin mo lang, Jesus? Sige, just try. Try to call His name. Say, Jesus. Wow, may power in the name of Jesus. There's... You just call him. He's just waiting to be invited by you. Sabi mo, Jesus, kinakailangan kita sa aking buhay. At ngayon, pinapasok na kita sa aking puso. Thank you for taking away my sins. Thank you for paying the price taking all of the punishment, paying my debts, I believe and I receive. Thank you for saving me. You're so good. I receive it. And Lord, sa lahat ng mga nakakarinig sa akin, I pray you put that powerful bounce inside of each one of us that no matter what we go through, will rise up again, just like Jesus. Lord, we will not stay down, stay bitter, stay jealous, stay angry. We will rise up, forgive, let go, move past, move forward, move ahead, and move on. Lord, give us a a, a vision for who you want us to be, for who you've created us to be. Not the old creation, yung new creation. Kung sino na kami in Christ. Help us to see and When we see, we can believe. When we believe, we can enter. And we thank you, Lord, for all of your good plans. We thank you that even when we're not faithful, you're still faithful. Ginawa po kami ng, like you, a palm tree, matibay, resilient, bounce back power. We receive that in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We hope you enjoy listening to today's teachings from Tim Warden. For more life-changing audio and video teaching resources, call the San Fernando Christian Community at 0919-846-6849 or visit our website at christian.com.ph and add us on facebook.com slash sfccphilippines. If you're ever in La Union, visit us along Ortiga Highway, Santiago Norte, San Fernando City.